Florida sheriff's deputies rescuing a duckling from a storm grate. The whole thing, as you see here, captured on body cam. Concerned citizens flagged down two officers who said the duckling was trapped in the storm drain. The mother duck was also nearby, quacking for help. Aww. Thankfully, the officers were able to lift the grate and rescue the tiny animal. The mother duck hurried over to be reunited <laughs> with the little one, who seemed to be just fine. She's like, get back yeah, in my get sight. Back. Don't do that yeah. one again. A high school on Long Island is taking science class to a whole new level. All right, Fox 5's Jenna Goldberg takes us inside Walt Whitman High School, which is home to its very own coral reef. Students here at Walt Whitman High School are growing a living coral reef in their classroom. Want to throw over there. They're diving into the deep sea as part of a science research program. We have corals around the world that are dying. The assignment, finding environmental concerns like the effects that pollution and global warming are having on reefs around the world, and then researching ways to solve the problem. About 25% of all of the life that's in the ocean is either directly or indirectly related to a coral reef. Here is to emulate the ecology of a coral reef. The best part about it, students don't have to go to the ocean for their experiments. They're all done inside this 600-gallon state-of-the-art reef tank. Having it here in school is a great way to like introduce them to the research world. Instead of taking coral out of the ocean, which is harmful for the environment, students actually grow it themselves over long periods of time. This piece here is eight years old and was grown from an original fragment. Uh, it's nice to see the students Engage with this project. We just need 50 milliliters more water. Chris Martinez and Jocelyn Bautista want to see which plants are best at filtering out pollution to keep fish and sea animals safe in Long Island's waters. My project focuses on nitrate emissions that are found in local waters due to agricultural runoff from local farms. My goal is to find a solution to prevent the depletion of nitrates inside of the water so we have uh, less health concerns and more marine life. The program partners students with mentors in the scientific community. Many of the students finding themselves spending their lunch period looking under the microscope. We're open to see the future of the scientist. It feels like a home away from home. I love this place. It's where I get to explore my curiosity. Picking their interest now as they look to pursue their passion. In Huntington Station, Long Island, Jody Goldberg, Fox 5 News.